everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. I know it has been a while but um, I've been pretty busy with work and the kids and everything and I really want to make these videos when I've got the time and when I'll be able to enjoy them. And on top of that I'm preparing my online class which should go live this summer. So today I'm going to will show you a layout, well we'll create a layout, but I'm also going to talk about um, some products. I'm on a new design team which is called Scrap Buttons and it is a brand that is based in France and they have lots of really fun products and I'm just going to show you a couple of them today and I'll leave you all the links to their online shop. Uh, there will lots of their products aren't in the shop just yet but just wait a bit and they'll probably um, upload all the products very shortly so scrap buttons and it says it's all about badges and flair and what's really fun is that you get these really plain uh, buttons so you've got some in craft and also some just in white different sizes and you also get very large ones which are about I think five inches like this around and this there are oval ones as well and these are really fun because you can paint on them you can stamp on them you can embellishment you can embellish them in any way you want so here I've got some of the craft ones in different sizes this is a white one Here's another one. Now this also is nice. It's in craft. It's craft as well. I don't know if you, but there is a bit of sewing on it. So that's a really fun touch and detail as well. So as you can see, these are all badges. So you can uh, customize them as you please, and even make little gifts for them. What I've done in the past for crops was make little badges for the people who were participating or maybe just um, for friends if you want to give them a fun little um, little badge as well. So these are really fun. Um, if you don't want to use them, if you want to just use them on your layout, um, just what I do is I just pop a couple of foam dots like these underneath and just stick them on. Some of them in the shop, have a closer look, have a paper clip on them. I don't know if I've got any here. I don't have any, but it's a paper clip so you can just clip them onto your layout. Let me just show you a couple of the others. So here, these ones. So here you've got some with a chevron in different colors, uh, these little flares ooh, with words like photo or check in different designs, these fun ones with kind of watercolor effect and also some sewing or stitching on them. Okay, So those are some of those little badges. These ones are also very fun. These are all handwritten and hand-drawn designs and then put on the badges. Now with these, there some of, it, of them are in English, others are in French, like toi and moi. Um, but you've also got welcome and love, my art. And I think they can be used on any kind of layout or on any project. And these are really fun too. This artsy feel to it. Now in this collection, the same collection as the the buttons here. You've got these papers and it's these are to make a mini book. What you get is this cover which you fold and you've got this little the little spine here and it's really artsy and you can add watercolor if you want to add some more color and decorate it and then on the inside you get these fun papers as well so if you want to make a mini album with the kind of artsy effect, mixed media, watercolor, which is a really fun trend at the moment. There we go. I'm going to try and not keep it too long and get to the layout itself. So really fun. And if you don't want to make a mini album, you could just use this on a layout as well. 
Now, another really, really fun product. One of my favorites at the moment. As you can see, this just seems to be pattern paper. But it isn't. It is more than just pattern paper. I'm just going to show you all the different designs that you've got here. And these are little hearts. And you, these will come in different colors. So this is the fun blue and kind of aqua green, a frame. And I'll just show you with this one later on what happens. Love. So at the moment, all you see pattern papers. Okay. Nice colors. Orange. Okay. These ones are also really pretty, kind of floral design. This one with the aqua and the coral, a bit flashy. This one is really pretty as well. Okay, and here you've got some triangles. Okay. Lovely lime green. More of this nice pink coral, which matches my clover. There we go. Some brown here. This is a kind of teal, or beige teal color. And this one, which is photo. And another one of these little frames. And then you've got these little dots here. Now I'll show you what happens. It is quite special. Let me just go and go get my um, supplies. Okay, I'm back. So what I got out is I got out this. This is a, just a little water brush. Okay. So I'm just going to fill up this brush up with water. You could just use a normal paint brush. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to clean this a bit. A bit of pink paint on it. There we go. Okay, so now this is the fun bit. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit so that you can see what happens. There we go. A close up. So you would think this is just normal pattern paper and you've got the design on it, but it is a bit more. Once you're going to add water onto the paper the color will start to dissolve and you will you will be able to create fun watercolor effects with it and what is really nice about the paper is that the design is printed onto watercolor paper so it's really sturdy and just really fun to use so I'm just going to show you what happens once you go over it there we go so I'm just going to add some of the water As you can see, the color is starting. I'm just going to make it drip a bit. There we go. And I'll show you. Okay. Add a bit more water. And I'm just going to show you a close up there. So as you can see, the color, once it's in contact with water, will just start to dissolve. And now you can let this dry and you've got this really cool effect. And the same thing will happen um, with uh, the little dot designs like this one. And I haven't tested out the floral designs yet but I'm sure it has a really fun effect. So what I would usually, what I would do is probably just add the color to the, um, the pinker cut here, the pinker tones, just to dye it so that the color just washes out a bit. Now, I have tried a couple of these papers and you do, if you want to keep the design, I wouldn't go over all of it because um, you might dissolve too much of the color and then you will lose your design. But uh, if you go over just a bit, you can kind of create this washed out effect along the sides. 
and just get, add a bit more color to the paper. And once that has been done, you can use this and create a layout with it. So you could just cut off the edges a bit and then create something using this, which I will do later on. So I'm just going to finish off adding a bit of color here because I do want to create this watercolor effect along the sides. Now, um, I do know for a fact that when you're working with the, um, so this kind of paper where you've got the gold dots, once you, do, once you dilute these, you will lose quite a lot of the color. So if you want to add more color, I would recommend adding a bit of maybe a color shine in the gold color. Just dip your paintbrush into that and add a bit more and maybe some, or maybe some Mr. Hueys. Because once you um, put, add water to the gold color, it really, it loses all the, 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 the shininess actually. So yeah, the shine, you'll keep the shine, but you'll lose a lot of the color. So if you really want a more darker gold color, I would add a bit of uh, mist to that. So there you have it, that's the new product I am using at the moment. Really, really fun. Just love this, it's really new and innovative. And there you go. I think I'll use it as such. I'm just going to maybe zoom out so that you can get a feel for the final result. There we go. So there you have it. <laughs> the sun has decided to pop out, so you've got a bit of reflection there. I'm so sorry. There we go. So you can see how we've still got the design here, but with the water that has been added, it just flows a bit, and you've got this fun watercolor effect. So I'm going to leave this to dry and then we'll start working on the layout.